G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we ask the difficult questions. In particular, where should the data source go? So I have here, I've just kind of quickly thrown together the BioLife application with a main form and a data module that contains the client data set and data source. Now this is typically how I'd make a data aware application with the data sources and data sets in the same um, data module. And they're probably, there might be, you know, five, 10, 100 uh, data sources in here and um, data sets. However, some people like to put the data source on the form. like so, and I need to set the data set as well. And there's nothing particularly wrong with that. I prefer to have my data sources and data sets together. This this generally means you have uh, this, this data module might be shared between many forms. And this means you'll have lots and lots of different uh, data sources, one for each form, or if you've got 20 data sets on here, you might have uh, 20 data sources, which gets a little bit crowded. Although, since, uh, well, I can't remember what version of Delphi, but as reasonably recently, but not overly recently, uh, you can press Control H to hide the non visual controls. And that, of course, doesn't work on a data module. It'd be interesting if it did, though. And so, my preference is to have. The, the, as I said, the data sources on a data module. Now, it might be that you want to access the events, of which we've got three, from the form, which is fine. Uh, you can put, uh, at this point, if I particularly wanted to do that, I would have a separate data source, uh, data, yeah, data, data source on the data module and one on the form because it's it's not often that I need to access these um, events on a form and if I particularly did um, for instance uh, we could use like before let's get before scroll or something like that uh, I could actually if I really wanted to through this event like so um, and the field we can go common underscore name something like that and then just in our on create we're going to find a blank area of the form so dm by life dot cds by life dot before scroll oops let's assign that and that'd be one way of if you needed to access an event on a uh, data set or data source uh, you could do it that way, uh, and that should work. I haven't actually tested it, of course, uh, but let's run that and see. It's going to depend on which order things get created as well. Okay, so we get an access violation. Um, because uh, our form is being created before the data module, which is easily fixed. So that should now work. And that was debugging. There we go. And so now when we scroll, our caption is being updated. Uh, that's that's a bit of a bit unsophisticated uh, doing it that way because you might have another form that wants to do exactly the same thing, uh, in which case a better mechanism would be having uh, an event register with the 
or an anonymous method register with the data module. Um, so it's kind of a uh, observer uh, pattern. Anyway, I digress. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, it's where, where you put your uh, data sources. And as I've said, um, I have a strong preference to putting on the data module, although I do occasionally put them on forms when I need to access the events. Now, uh, I have a book uh, just published. It's Code Better in Delphi. It's my second book. So my first book was Code Faster in Delphi and my second book, Code Better in Delphi. The, um, they are both available now. The Code Faster in Delphi is available in print and electronic version. Currently, Code Better in Delphi is only available in the electronic version, although by the time you watch this, it might be available in print. So go to learndelphi.tv to find links as to where to buy those. So they're available on LeanPub and Amazon. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie. I'll catch you in the next video.